Hi, everybody. Welcome to another daily devotion. This devotion is for Tuesday, October 13th, 2020. It's good to be with you virtually again for another of the daily devotions. And I have to admit that today's passage from the book of Exodus presented some particular challenges in interpretation. But uh, I'm going to leave those questions and challenges for another time and just focus on one aspect of this passage this morning. Here it is from Exodus chapter 33. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, Go, leave this place, you and the people whom I've brought up out of the land of Egypt. I will send an angel before you to drive out the Canaanites and the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. Go up to a land flowing with milk and honey, but I will not go up among you, for you are a stiff-necked people. Twice in this passage, this verse and one of the verses that follow shortly after, through Moses, God accuses the people of Israel of being stiff-necked. I've read that before in other places in the Bible, references to the people being a stiff-necked people. I'm not exactly certain how to take that, but I think it has something to do with the way one guides a horse in a particular direction. Before the time of putting a bit in a horse's mouth, or instead of a bit, perhaps pressure on the neck one side or the other was used. I'm not sure if that's what this is about, but it certainly is about people who are unwilling to be guided by God. And that's the focus of this devotion today. God wishes not only to be present with us, and God is everywhere present, but God wishes to be so consciously present with us that God is able to guide us in the things that we do, in the things that we say, in how we think and in how we behave, in each day, in the ordinary things and in the special and important things, God is interested in being not only a spiritual presence, but an actual guide. On Sunday, last Sunday, we read the 23rd Psalm in our worship. The Lord is my shepherd. He leads me. And that is a profound and especially important principle of having a devotional life, a spiritual life with God. Not to be so fixed in my ways, so determined to do what I want to do, so stiff-necked, if you will that I don't let God guide me. It's a much better way to be of a gentle spirit, to have your, your will, your purposes, your determinations, but always be ready to be guided, directed, led, turned by God. I think that this is one of the great principles of all of the women and men in the scriptures whom God has mightily used and powerfully blessed, that they were willing to be led by God, to walk not just in their own way, but in his way. And that is why I think those who were first followers of Jesus were called the followers of the way because they walked on a path that God determined for them as followers of Christ, even as Christ was a follower of his Father. Lord God, today, in all of our ways, help us 
to not be a stiff-necked people, but to be a people who can be guided, can be directed in our thoughts, in our speech, in our actions, in all of our ways. Help us to walk in your way. Guide us, O oh God, with your presence. We pray this in the name of our great master, teacher, leader, and shepherd, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining with me on this beautiful Tuesday morning. I pray that God will bless you until we gather again next time for another of our daily devotions.